What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Kind of Punch Boxing News, and I got some new news concerning Dominique Brazil. Dominique Brazil fulfilled once again another hard opponent within Carlos Negron, you know, and knocked him out in the ninth round, knocked him spark out, you know, and it was a good back and forth fight. You know, those guys fought like two giants in there. You know what I mean? These guys are tall, big guys. The heavyweight division has breeding superhuman guys. These, these guys should be called, you know, uh, super heavyweights because these are some big dudes. You know what I mean? And uh, Dominic Brazil is one thing I know about him. He's in shape and he's determined. And that's really pretty much all you know. And he needs a shot and he wants a shot. He's hungry for this shot. You know, Carlos Negron didn't come in there just to lay down. He came there throwing his nice shots. He started throwing body shots to the body, which were good. Started showing combinations. You know, um, his hooks were well. He placed his hooks well. But fighting somebody like Brazil, I think Brazil was was hungrier in there. You know what I mean? And these guys, and, he, and Brazil, he just wouldn't shy with the punches. He let his hands go. And I think that that was a difference. I think Negron was too tentative at times he let them go in spots in spurts but he did not let them go like dominic brazil did dominic brazil went in there and let this shit happen you know so he still obtains his position as number one the only thing is now where does he go from here really does he fight dillian white or does he keep waiting for deontay wilder hopefully he gets his shot because i would like him to get his shot at least you know get his shot at the other belt because he's already tried the Joshua route, okay? So now it's only right since him in his position that he's in, then he's knocking out tough guys, you know? Izu Ogona was not a was not a pushover. He was an undefeated fighter. This guy, Carlos Negron, only one loss, now two losses. You know, tough Puerto Rican fighter. You know, so, you know, and he's only lost once, and that's to AJ. So, yeah, uh, Deontay Wilder, if he's bullshitting, if he ain't trying to fight nobody legitimate or trying to unify any titles, he needs to get a man a shot, bottom line, you know, because he deserves it. You know, they have beef anyway. I keep, keep telling you guys, they, they, you know, Dominique Brazil wants a piece of, of Deontay Wilder's ass because of personal reasons. First, business second. That belt is second to the place of what happened in that ballroom, okay? So because he felt mad, disrespected, violated, you know what I mean? And his family was uh, felt the same way. You don't mess with a person's family, man. You just don't do it. So that's why uh, Dominic Brazil has a in, has a, a, a alternative motive, <laughs> an interior motive um, to fight Deontay Wilder. So Deontay Wilder, he does need to give him his shot. But again. The fight was good. It was an action-packed fight. You know, I look forward to seeing what Dominic Brazil does in the future. He was able to hold his own, okay? Um, you guys tell me what you think about Dominic Trouble Brazil taking on whoever in the sports in, in the heavyweight division, which is live and well right now. Sparks are flying. You know, um, leave your comments below. Give me your opinion. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.